Hello everyone, in today's video, we will be breaking down this reel. How can a basic beverage brand become a symbol of creativity? Red Bull rarely talks about energy drinks. They spend millions creating extreme sports content and media. They brand themselves as the enabler of peak performance. Don't market your product, market the peak version of your customer. Don't forget to follow. So the first thing will be our background. So I will just move here new item and then I will select color mate and here I will set the 1080 by 19 by 20 resolution then click OK and I will choose the white part then I will just rename it to PG OK and now I will just bring it to the timeline. So this is our background and I will just bring it here. Now the next thing we will be doing is to setting up the keyframe so there is this uh, qr code and this uh, animating star type thing so i will just bring these two now so this is the like this i will just go to effects control scroll down and now i can double select it and move it manually like this so i think this is looking cool here now the next thing will be the star this one so there are two methods to make it black one is the fill and one is the black and white effect but the black and white effect will make it gray so i will just go in the effects and search for sorry tint tint effect i will just apply it to here i will go to effects controls again and from here i will change the map white to black like this one so this will change the color to this now i will just simply double click on it and bring it to here like this is looking good now now we want to rotate it so i will just add a rotation keyframe and move this like here and at the final position i will just uh, click on the value and i will type in um, make sure it's highlighted i will type in one x and now i can just simply bring it forward and so it will animate according to this now you can select both keyframes ease in and it will be like this so you can if you want uh, it's on the one side only no there so i will just move it here now once this is this image is animating so how can we do that i will just go and i will bring this image to the timeline i will go to properties and in the scale section i will just scale it up i think this is looking cooler here this will be the final position i will go to effects control i will add a position and rotation keyframe and at the start i will position it out of the frame and give it a bit of rotation as well so it will be out so it will be looking like this now i can just select both keyframes and simply just ease in the frame and if you want to you can just simply select the position keyframes and make the graph like this the starting position will be fast then it will be gradually slow so it will be like this now once this is done uh, moving to our next animation our next animation uh, the text animation is simply the fade animation i will just create and now then this highlight animation so there is a fade animation to this too so i will be using premiere composer for that i will just move to text presets and if we see in the video fade character i will just bring it to the timeline now it's here how can a basic beverage brand so i will just type that so this is the text basic beverage brand i basic will be smaller so this is the text now i will just scroll down and make the color fill to black like this so this is the text i will just change the font of this font this is looking cool i will just simply scroll down to this section transform and now i can scale it down and position it approximately here average brand uh, uh, one thing i forgot to turn off the animate out make sure this is uh, unchecked because it will do like this and i will just move back to properties i think i did a spelling mistake no it's not like that so i will just decrease the font size so this is now okay uh, this is not done now once this is done we need to create the other animation so the text animation will be same just we will change the font so i will just make a copy of it and bring it downwards and the text will be become a symbol of creativity so i will just go back to properties and like this uh, this is cooler now uh, this one and from the font section i will just choose not that if we go with this this is the bold one not this we we'll just go with the, there is a font named helvetica so i will just choose that this one and now i can just simply make the this like here and now effects controls and i can make it bigger and like this so it will be animating approximately here 
so the color of this text is white but we will change it later first we will create the highlight animation so i will just make it a bit here and i can just simply make sure no layer is selected and you can go to this shape tool rectangle shape and you can just simply create a shape around this text to approximately where it fits like this and in the property section i can go and change the fill color to black like this and now i can just simply what i will do i can just make sure to bring this text layer up and bring the graphic down like this and in the text section i will change now its color to white so the text will be appearing now we need to animate this graphic so to animate this i will just go to effects control and i will disable the uniform scale i will set the scale with keyframe then move a few frames and uh, I will just bring this as our final position and at the start i will make the scale width to zero but before that i have to set the anchor point so i want the animation to start if we see in the video it starts like this so uh, i will set the anchor point select it and set the anchor point here the animation will start from here to here so now i can just simply make the scale width to zero so it will be giving us this animation you can just make it a bit faster as well to match the text animation and now you can just select and ease in them so this is our first frame created moving forward like this now this moves up and there is a, a blurry animation so how can we do that so i think this is where our frames completely animates i will just make sure to cut them and uh, like this and make sure to nest them into a sequence like this and now i will add a position keyframe then i will move a few frames and then just simply bring this whole frame upwards once it is here i will just make sure to go here and just cut it like this now this is done now i will set the next frame and then we can do uh, this animations and all that so i will just uh, go in the shape section and i will bring this shape to the next and now i will make a copy and i will select it and i will bring it to the other side as well so it will be like this i can just simply bring it here so it will be animating approximately here now now next thing will be this one so i will just simply bring it and unlink it and delete the audio and for this one i will just move to where this animation starts so it is starting there i will cut it and now i can just simply bring it above the shapes now to remove the green screen i will just simply go to effects and i will search for ultra key apply the ultra key to this and go to effects controls and now select the dropper tool and make it like this now effects and i will now search for black and scrolling down i will just copy this black and white effect and apply it to this and now i will just go to properties now and in the scale section i will increase the scale to something like this and position it in the middle or something like that i will delete this so this is the whole animation you can just simply bring it forward if this is smaller to the animation now i will just bring the red bull can to the timeline like this and if we see in the video it's black and white so i will go and i will apply the black and white effect to this and in the effects control i will just make it like this now there is a rotation to this so i will add a rotation keyframe and simply just rotate it like this and uh, move this as our final position or you can see i will just move a few frames and now bring it back to zero in selecting sorry select them and bring it back to zero so it will be giving us this animation you can just simply bring this forward and or you can do this and now you can simply just ease in to make the animation more smoother like this so this is created now we want to shift from this to this we need to create a adjustment layer to apply the gaussian blur i will add adjustment layer make sure it's like this and i will bring it to the timeline now i will just simply make the adjustment layer to five frames one two three will be the middle at like this one and i will just simply make a marker on it like this one and uh, you can just simply make sure to then one two three two sorry so this will be like this i will make a cut for now here and now i will just simply make sure it's like this so this will approximately be here and this will be here so this is like this and now i can just simply click on join through edits and if i see i can just simply make this to like this so this will be the adjustment layer now i will go to facts and i will search for blur 
the Gaussian blur where I will apply to the adjustment layer. I will go to effects controls. I will add a blurness keyframe. And once this is approximately in the middle to this point, I will just increase it to 50. And at the starting keyframe, it will be zero. And at the end keyframe, it will be again zero. So this will be giving uh, this will give us this smooth animation like this one like this so moving next the next animation we have is this the text animation will be created same using the Premiere composer the um, presets now if we see once this animation is fully completed i will just make sure to cut these and uh, this will come a uh, nested sequence and at this point i will add a scale keyframe moving next it will just gradually give us a smooth uh, like this you can just simply bring it to the last and it will be giving us this animation now moving forward we have this animation this video one so you can just simply set up the keyframe first so once this is uh, zooming here i will add a position keyframe to this point moving a few frames i will just bring it out of the keyframe like this like this you can just simply bring it here and now you can make sure to ease in them and in the graph section you can make the graph of the position properties to something like this this will be like this so the next will be i will just use a, a black color image to use this as an example because i did not find the video and to avoid copyright strikes so this will be here i will just go to flex control and i will make it to something like this now moving to this video once this is approximately here i will just select the video here and i will add a position keyframe and move this as our final position and at the start i will bring it here and now i can just simply bring them closer and make sure to ease in the whole frame now in same i will just simply make it the graph like this like this and now these two shapes i will just uh, hold alt and bring them here i will bring this color made proxy uh, I will just bring this color mat behind them so they will be animating here and uh, behind the video and for the two shapes you can just simply make sure to scale them down a bit because they are too big for this frame like this so they will be looking like this for example in the background so sorry there is just here so the text animation will be the same and moving next we have this animation so this floor so once this is animated we can also select a drop shadow to this uh, apply to this color mate for example this is our video so i will just use this as a color mate and now you can increase this increase the softness and set the direction to like this so this will be a bit no it's not like that it will be approximately here and now you can just simply see change it to something like that so this will be drop shadow now moving next our next animation i will just cut them here and delete them and now i will just bring this floor png to the timeline and if we see this is animating on the both sides so i will just simply go to effects controls and select it and if we see this is one is here and the other is on the other side so i will add a rotation keyframe move a few frames and i will change the rotation to 1x so it will be animating like this you can just simply make sure to select both keyframes and then simply just ease in them now i will make a copy of this floor png and bring it to the other side as well so they will be animating like this now moving forward we have this uh, dotted circle so i will just bring it again here so this time it will be here and now i will just make it a bit bigger now so once this is ending here like this i will just bring this draw bottle to the timeline so this is the bottle or you can bring this bottle as well like this and now go to effects control and if we see the animation it's the same so this will be animating up and like this so first we will set up the keyframe then we can do all that so i will just simply bring it approximately here i will add a rotation keyframe and at the start i will just simply rotate it to something like this and you can just simply make sure to ease in them and uh, i will just bring the keyframes closer like this now this whole frame cup comes uh, upward to downward so i will just make the nested sequence of these two and for these flowers we will animate it one by one so i will add a position keyframe and at the start i can just simply bring this keyframes as final position and at the start i will bring it downwards and for this floor too 
I will add a position keyframe and if we see the same value we have to do that so I will just make sure to bring this flower down as well <laughs> and for this nested sequence like this and at the start I will bring these also down so they will be oh, sorry this one was the lower one I will just replace the keyframes like this so they will be like appearing here and you can now adjust the graphs of these like this and for this one too like this and for this one too i will just select make a and bring it downwards like this and now i will just make sure to adjust the graph to something like this. so this will be our whole animation so this is created now moving next we have the text animations same it will be created like this and now uh, this is the animation so i will just show you a better one for this once this is animated i will just cut them like here this will be the cut point and i will just bring the black color made to the timeline or you can just simply move here and select a scare like this and hold shift to create a perfect circle now from here you can just select the scale keyframe and make it to end uh, this fully to on the screen and move this as our final position and at the start make it to zero so this will give you a very cool animation like this you can just simply make sure to uh, ease in the frames like this so this is a very cool animation now you can type the text using that premiere composer and now this will be the same so setting up the cane now i will just set up this whole frame so once this is here i will just simply cut like this now i will bring this scan to the timeline and now i will go to properties and i will now scale it up and i will just position it to this approximately here and then i will just bring the barcode to and then i will just go to properties scale it down a bit now select it and move it right here now this is done if we see in the video it's approximately here then it's zoom so first we will set up the frame then we can do that so the shape this is on the one side so i will just copy one of the and this will be animating here and effects control and i will search for black scrolling down i will type the black and white effect and i will apply to this like this and the shape will be extended now this is here and the text animation will be same the opacity ones and like this so uh, at i will just select all these and make sure to nest them and in the effects controls i will select the nested sequence add a scale and position keyframe and you can just simply make it right these are will be our final position and at the start i will just simply make it like this so it will be giving us this animation and if you see we can just simply make this uh, different as well because it will be looking like this so that's all for today i hope you found this video helpful make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one until then take care and bye